Hello, today I brought an Excel template which I built to monitor my photovoltaic production at home. It's a way of visualization which is handy and shows high information density because I show the production compared to last year and for every month I also show what was the minimum production per day, what was the average production per day and what was the highest production per day. We also have accumulated data, so how many kilowatt hours did I produce over the actual month compared to last year. And you'll find in and there the one or the other Excel hint uh, which makes it possible uh, that we have dynamic text and dynamic numbers positioned inside the column chart. So be curious, come with me and let's have a look. This is now my mentioned photovoltaics production chart. As you can see the dark columns represent the actual values. Behind we have the columns for the previous year in grey. I decided not to have numbers but I wanted to see the reference to the last year still, getting an impression how much more or less I produced in this particular month compared to the previous year's month. The particular thing here in the chart uh, is these dynamic labels and the dynamic numbers within the actual chart. I wanted to see what was the best day production, 11 kilowatt hours, and what was the worst day production, zero in January, which means there was snow on my roof. Uh, and in the middle, I show the production on average per day. So if I had have 88 kilowatt hours instead of 8 kilowatt hours 16th of January, we would see the difference here in the chart immediately. Well, total actual would be higher than previous year. Best day 88, now the average increased by 2. And uh, well, still we have snow on the roof when it comes to the worst day. So this is one thing. The second particular thing is that I have uh, realized uh, a bracket showing the year-to-date numbers. Seeing the year-to-date actual compared with the previous year-to-date uh, and calculating the variance shown as well dynamically in the message title. Let's see what's happening when we take out November and December data as if actual year were October now clear content. Well now year to date is January to October so the bracket stops here and shows the according accumulated values uh, and dynamically updated the variance here and in the message title. If you're curious now how to do dynamic labels how to do dynamic lines I refer to my two separate tutorials of dynamic labels and dynamic lines. If you like it, subscribe and uh, stay with us and enjoy the chart.